Lily. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I want to share 10 tips for your travels to Tulum. My friends and I just got back from our trip to Tulum and I did a lot of research and during this research I wish that I had the tips that I'm about to share with you. These are things that I found out along the way during my travels and I really hope that you find them helpful. Tip number one, currency exchange. When you go to exchange your money, you wanna be able to get the biggest bang for your buck. I recommend that you change your US dollars at duty free inside of the airport or at Banco Azteca. Those are the best rates that I found when I was in Chulum. You do wanna keep in mind that if you're changing your money at the airport, or at the bank, you're going to need your passport in order to do so. At the airport, inside of the airport at Duty Free, I was able to get 19 pesos for one US dollar. When I stepped outside of the airport at their exchange booth, you got 14 pesos for one US dollar. And at the Banco Azteca, you got 18.25 for one US dollar. So again, the best deals that you can get are in Duty Free or at Banco Azteca. Okay guys, so tip number two. As you already know, if you're going to Tulum, you have to get there by flying through Cancun. When you get there, you do not need to book a private shuttle or take a taxi, which are going to be very expensive. You just need to purchase a ticket to the ADO bus, ADO. It's a bus station just like Greyhound. It's very comfortable, it's air conditioned, and it's very safe. As soon as you exit the airport, you're going to see Margaritaville on your right-hand side. A little further down, you're going to see the bus stop for ADO. They run about every 30 to 35 minutes. The bus does stop at Playa del Carmen, but you do not need to exit the bus on your way to Tulum. Tip number three. If you're staying in an Airbnb or if you're staying in a hotel, try to select something that provides you with a free bike. The best way to get around in Tulum is with a bike. The way that the city is laid out makes it really easy to navigate. So just make sure that you save yourself $15 a day by getting yourself an Airbnb that provides you with a free bike. Okay guys, tip number four. Let's talk a little bit more about transportation. The number one way for you to get around in Tulum is on your bikes. However, if you're traveling a little bit further out and you're traveling as a couple or with another person, I do highly recommend that you take a colectivo. It's going to cost you 20 to 25 pesos per person to go from Tulum town to the Tulum ruins. However, if you are traveling in a group, maybe three or four of you, then you're going to wanna to just take a taxi. That way it's going to be more affordable for you because you can just split the taxi fare between all of you. It's going to cost you around 150 pesos to get from Tulum town to the Tulum ruins. Tip number five. When you go to the Tulum ruins, I do suggest that you go bright and early. You'll get to skip the crowds and right after your trip to the Tulum ruins, you'll be able to go to Playa Tortuga, Playa Pescadores, and Playa Paraíso. The best thing for you to do as well that I really highly recommend is for you to take a snorkeling expedition. Avoid dealing with the tour guides at the ruins and book your trip directly with the snorkelers at the beach. You'll be able to bargain and barter the best prices for your snorkeling trip if you do so at the beach. You can do this either at Playa Pescadores or at Playa Paraíso. Tip number six, your trip to Playa Paraíso. Playa Paraíso has been rated one of the most beautiful beaches in the world and I see why. The sand always stays cool even when it's above 100 degrees. The sand was nice and crisp and the water is just absolutely beautiful. This beach is free admission so you do not have to pay anything to go visit but I do highly recommend that you get maybe a mojito or something at the Playa Paraíso Resort because you'll get tickets to the restrooms and the changing rooms afterwards and everything there's actually pretty inexpensive you'll also be able to get a beach bed and get that whole experience of a beach club for a really good price when you go to Playa Paraíso and don't forget to stick around to see the beautiful sunset at the beach it's just absolutely amazing and tip number seven okay guys no matter where you're staying if you're visiting Tulum you're gonna want to go to Boca Baila this is the resort strip where all of these luxury resorts are located it's very fancy very high end, but of course you have to visit this strip when you're in Tulum. Please keep in mind that all of these resorts and restaurants are going to charge you a minimum of 40 to $60 in order for you to have access to the beach because all of the beaches alongside of the resorts are private beaches. So my tip to you is make sure that you really look into the restaurants or 
establishments that, that you want to visit. That way you'll be able to eat at the restaurant that you want and have access to the beach. My favorite beach was Playa Paraiso, but you don't want to miss that experience when you're in Chulum. And there are a lot of really great restaurants on the Boca Bailas trip that you're going to want to check out when you're in Chulum. Tip number eight, Laguna Can Loom. You cannot go to Tulum and not visit Laguna Can Loom. I mean, I'm not trying to be punny, but seriously, guys, it's absolutely gorgeous. Again, you want to get there right and early. Bright and early, okay? Bright and early. My friends and I felt like we had the entire space to ourselves. It is absolutely gorgeous. The water is pretty shallow, so if you're not a good swimmer like some people, then you'll feel very safe there. I was floating around and just like soaking in all of that natural beauty. It is 50 pesos for the admissions fee, which is pretty good. The Mayans considered the mud in the lagoon to have healing properties, so when you go there, you're going to want to lather this all over your face and your body it's gonna feel really good after you visit Laguna Canlu maybe you can go and visit the Gran Cenote which is one of the famous cenotes there are so many in Tulum keep in mind when you go to Gran Cenote that there are more than just one water hole it's not just the very first one that you see when you enter there are different ones that you can visit and there is a huge park there are hammocks you can really just soak in the entire experience of the cenote when you go there. So I do recommend that you go to Laguna Canlum and to Gran Cenote. Tip number nine, my absolutely favorite thing to talk about, food. Okay, you guys, when you go to Tulum, you really want to know where you want to eat. Keep in mind that the restaurants in Tulum are not open seven days a week. More than once, my friends and I were on our way to one of the restaurants on our list without knowing that the restaurant was actually closed. So please be sure to check on Yelp for the business hours and the days of operation for the restaurants. My absolutely favorite place when I was there was Encanto Cantina. The food was amazing, the decor was amazing, the ambience was amazing, and yes, you guessed it, the service was amazing. You really wanna make sure that you search up a list of things and places that you wanna visit when you're there. I am going to list my favorites right below in the description box, and if you have any recommendations for me, I wanna see those in the comment box later. And guys, our last tip for today's video, tip number 10 is about nightlife. Tulum might not be known for its nightlife, but you guys, it is amazing. I had the most amazing time when I was there. I do recommend for you to go to Papaya Playa. They have really cool EDM parties there. It is $50 per person for these parties. When I was staying in Tulum town, I absolutely loved going to Santino Bar. They play a lot of reggaeton and salsa, just Spanish music in general, and it's a really, really good time. I also recommend going to La Malquerida, which I loved because it has swings and the drinks are really inexpensive. One thing that you wanna keep in mind is that they literally party Monday through Sunday every single day. It was a party and everything closed around five o'clock in the morning. So you might wanna go back to your hotel or Airbnb and take a nap before going right back out into town. And they also have raves. Just make sure that you talk to the locals because they know where all of the parties are. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my video. Please let me know if you have any recommendations for me for when I return to Jaloom because you best believe that I am going back very soon. If you have any questions, comments, or recommendations, please leave them below in the comment section. Again, thank you so much for tuning into my video and I'll see you again next time. Bye.